He should have never put his hands on it. But he did. Honestly, I could see a drunk fan doing it, I guess, to be honest with you. But I, I gotta be like, what's with the owner? Like, one of the owners. He's literally, whether you like it or not, they keep trying to change his status. But the reality is, he's an owner. Like, he, he owns... He, he owns a piece of the team. So that's all there is to it. I don't care what the piece is. He is an investor, an owner. There's no other way of looking at it. And that he was behaving that way is amazing. Like, you'd think that the guy that owns a piece of the team would go to the game and not be cussing people out or shoving people or putting his hands on a player. It really is truly amazing. My guess is uh, that the guy will sell his shares and then he'll probably, uh, my guess is I'd be willing to bet he won't go to an NBA game for a long time. He may just be done with it. Like, I don't need this. It's hard. Because they've already ruined his life. Like, the guy has been... No one knew him yesterday. He'll be, he'll be just fine. But I'm saying, he is now notorious. And they're going to... Literally, they have plastered his name all over television today and radio and newspapers and online and Twitter. They've crucified the guy. So his life is... Don't tell me it's not affecting his life or his family.